Andrea along with Meadow and today we're going to show you a bright and colorful craft to make out of tissue paper. Tissue paper blossoms. What you need to start is tissue paper and then also a pair of scissors. And because you're using a pair of scissors, be sure to ask an adult's permission before you do any cutting. So we're going to need the yellow for the middle, but you can pick out a couple of other colors that'll be the blossoms. What do you think? Purple and blue. Purple and blue sounds good. You can pick one to two other colors for the petals and you'll need five sheets total of the colored paper. You'll want to lay them out flat and stack them on top of one another. So we start with the blue and then we put the purple in and then we lay the yellow on top of that. And we're using full-size sheets of gift wrap tissue paper so our flower will be really big. If you want to make smaller flowers, you can use smaller pieces of tissue paper too. Now that you have the tissue paper all stacked, you'll start accordion folding from one of the short ends. So you gather them all up like this and just start folding this way. Now that we've folded all the paper together, we actually are going to unfold it. And in this next step, we take the yellow layers away from the other colors. And this is where you might want an adult's help with the scissors. You're going to cut a fringe along the long sides of the yellow. And the pieces of fringe should be about a half inch wide and about two inches long. Now that we've cut the fringe in the yellow paper, you want to set your scissors aside and then layer the yellow paper back on top of the purple and the blue paper. And this is the tricky part. You want to line up the creases with each other because we're going to refold this paper together. Make sure the folds are lining up and start refolding it. Now that all the paper is folded together, we just have a couple of more cuts to make. And this is a step that you'll definitely want an adult's help because the paper is pretty difficult to cut through when it's this thick. So they'll just take the scissors and they're gonna cut a curved line at each end of the folded paper. For this next part, I'll need your help, Meadow. So if you could just hold the paper down right there to keep all of the papers folded up together. I'm taking a piece of string and I'm gonna tie it around the center of the folded up paper. And it'll be a little difficult because the paper is pretty thick, so you may also want an adult to help you with this part of it. Now it's time to make the petals, and the way we do that is you turn it so the yellow paper is facing up, and you really carefully start pulling apart these layers pulling it straight up and it may be difficult because the paper is all stuck together but if you work at it you should start seeing your flower take shape. Looks great, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. I think we should make some more of these and you can put them around your room for some color. Thanks for joining us in the American Girl Craft Studio today. Join us again next time for another craft. To get started, you need a small round gift box that you can find at a craft store, plus an embroidery hoop, and depending on the size of your box, you may need to use either the outer ring or the inner and outer ring together.